Hey everybody, welcome back to Mead Monday on the Mead Masters Guild. I'm here with my good friend again, Courtney. Hi everyone. And this week we're drinking cherry mead. Stay tuned. Alright, this week we are drinking Cherry Me Amour from um, Chinook Meadery. They're south of Okotoks, Alberta. And um, actually, Courtney's going to go a little bit about the history and a little bit behind them and kind of what they got for programs and stuff that they actually offer at their meadery. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they have a few different kind of programs, but first we'll kind of go into a little bit of their history. 1995, they, they started beekeeping and that was basically their primary interest at that point. They built a honey house shortly after that. They ended up branching into mead and getting approval in about 2000, 2006 and then they finally opened for business and established in 2007. They have a couple di couple different programs. Uh, they actually have a couple kid-friendly programs for those of you that have little ones but still want to have the mead experience. They have a meadery education program and they have a program called Backstage with the Bees. Obviously the mead education pro like there's a lot of similarities between the two. Uh, backstage with the bees, I would imagine, is more of the kid. Probably, like, yeah, the, the more kid, kid friendly. Kids and seeing like bee, yeah, beekeeping in there. Because, uh, hey, Timmy, have some mead. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's going to go over well. Uh, backstage with the bees, they get to do honey tasting and they get to see the hive and you get to dress up in a beekeeper outfit. So that's pretty nifty. Uh, the meadery education program is more like the history of mead, how mead is made, going into more of that process and doing the mead tastings. So I would imagine, yeah, the meadery education program is more for the adults and the backstage of the bees is more of the kids uh, part of it. I want to be dressed up as a beekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> they also have an event uh, June 1st and 2nd of this year called Horde at the Hive Viking Village. They have live action battle reenactments. They have mock battles for the kids. They've got a food truck. They have mead and honey tastings. So that's also pretty nifty as well. Um, if you want more information about that, just head to their website at www.chinookhoney.com. Brian will put that information in the info description. Below. description. But yeah, no. So yeah, a lot of cool programs in there. So let's get into it and see what the meat tastes like. Oh my god! Sorry, no long table. Long table. <laughs> Ladies first. Blood, 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 blood. Favorite ones. So as you can tell from kind of looking at it already, it's kind of got a rosé sort of look to it. Oh yeah, definitely. It's like kind of golden red. Yeah, almost slightly peachy toned. Um, it's actually sticking to the sides of the glass fairly well, so I'd say it's about a medium body. Oh yeah, definitely. The, the legs on there yeah. stick in there pretty well. Let's get a sniff. I don't think you can really see that on the camera, but yeah, like you say, kind of a peachy, almost like a golden reddish. Yeah. Like to, the initial smell to me it almost has like a strawberry rhubarb sort of smell to it, which is funny. Mm -hmm. Like it's got that sort of zing to it the way rhubarb does. Love it. It's a cherry, but there's a lot of spice there. See, it almost tastes completely different than it smells. Oh my god! This is almost like a mold. Like it has like mulling spice or something. It is like it absolutely. Like I can taste cinnamon. I can taste clove. There's, yeah, the cinnamon, a little bit of clove. I can all spice sort of feel to it, like very spicy. Mm. This is actually quite sweet in comparison to the last meat we tried. Yes. Yeah. Which no, would so, explain the legs. Yes. No. If, if you're um, more of a dessert wine drinker or a sweet wine drinker, this is going to be definitely more up your alley as opposed to if you're somebody who likes it like a very dry. But, oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, that goes down so easy. Yeah. I would almost say like for, for dessert, could you imagine this was like a bread pudding? Because the spices oh and everything, or a really nice thick apple pie. I've been talking about food. <laughs> it's like every time I talk about food, I get like songs. It's just like, oh, I can start hearing my stomach growl. Well, like, maybe at some point we'll look at creating accompaniments for these tastings, but for now. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. This is my first time trying anything from Chinook, and whole oh, wow. Like, yeah. Extremely this is impressed. really good. Like I've tried a, a couple of different meads and a lot of the ones I find are so dry. It's all, it almost tastes like cheap wine. Yeah, like, like they, it's like they try to make it... Because mead's an alcohol on its own, it's not actually a wine or a beer or anything like that. Like, if you go back to our introduction video discussing the different types. Mead is an alcohol on its own, but there's a lot, there's a lot of similarities to wine. More so than 
really anything else just to give it kind of a run like a kind of a short comparison but yeah this this is oh my god spiced bacon spiced baked apples yes there you go that's kind of, i think that would be perfect it's almost, it's almost or even like a cherry pie like a cinnamon cherry pie like, yeah you'd have to have the spice in it for sure too, yes or else it would kind of be a little oh. off cinnamon nutmeg warmed oh yes please with real vanilla bean ice cream <laughs> i'm a horrible human <laughs> throw your diet away at the door people yes it's like we're gonna do a diet we're gonna work out we're gonna be good it's honestly like, oh. yeah I, I i would say that this would either like if you were having this it's definitely it definitely has more of a winter fall feel to it yeah like it, definitely that fall time thanksgiving spicy earthy yeah, food, like, foods coming up pies and stuff like yeah that. like in my brain everything goes well with brie but like if you did a baked brie with like baked cranberries and spices on the top of that with this one that would actually be really good but i don't really like with the taste of how sweet it is it wouldn't really go with anything like meat to me like it, it's no, just a little it's, too it's, sweet it's, it's, a, it's definitely i'd say like dessert, definitely dessert wine and like a dessert cheese wine yes exactly sure. pie cheese anything like that oh oh my god yes now you're making me think of pumpkin pie i'm thinking about pie I, I know, i'm just getting <laughs> hungry <It's Yeah>. like, <laughs> food. i am gaining weight as we speak I know, it's like, why, why do we work out and go to the gym and do all these healthy exercises so we can drink meat every week? <laughs> and eat whatever the hell we want with a guilt-free. Yes. I want my free calories, and that's why I torture myself. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, even the bottle-wise, I mean, the artwork is really cool. It all looks almost like pastel paintings. Yeah, it almost has like a medieval look to it as well. Yeah, like I have a few of their different ones, but I, like, like, I kind of like the pastel look of their label. Like, it's really cool. Well, but, it, it almost has, like, with that gold trim on the outside of the label as well, it almost has, like, a stained glass window sort of moment. effect to it. Oh, a little aesthetic-wise, but it doesn't look like actual stained glass design. Yeah. I, I like bottle art. I, I think it's really cool. Like, I mean, you get the wines and stuff like that that have this old tradition. Sometimes it's just lettering, but something that's that gives a little, like, an artistic impression well, of what it is. it gives a character to the wine. Exactly. You know? uh, like, to me, the illustration almost looks like something you'd see out of, like, like a queen of cups tarot card you know like a more artistic mm -hmm. way of portraying that but yeah. it has that kind of look to it yeah and like i've got some of their other meats as well which we're just doing tastings on in the future and they're all kind of like that very like european-esque um medieval era but i mean that's could be that's i think kind of what they're going for a lot of meteries uh, i know a lot of meters i see in north america um go for the european look generally mm -hmm. there's a few I'm, i know there's one or two out there that are hedge that kind of go for the african like hedges from ethiopia and that region of the african horn yeah the more european one i think you're like the one that's more commonly available maxwell is maxwell is um they're from australia oh are they from australia yeah because their artwork looks very like renaissance medieval yes yeah, very stained glass yeah but no like like in this i, I really like i'm a sucker for model art <laughs> No, that is, that is absolutely incredible. Yep, I think pies are on sale and I'm going to go buy one. <laughs> You're uh, an evil bastard. Yeah, but the meat's good. I can say that YouTube won't demonetize this way. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry, they're a little bit anal protective. <coughs> a little bit, but um, yeah, no. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. I, I definitely look forward to trying more of Chinook's um, needs in the future, but... Yeah, that was really tasty. Yes, but... Do you know, I actually... Do you remember when, you know, you're a kid, you go to, like, a general store, and they have those honey sticks? Yes, yes. Like, that's almost exactly what this tastes like. Um, actually, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, like, I remember going to, like, Bee Made Honey Factory. Yes. Like, just a little general stores, and you go to, like, some little lake towns and stuff yeah, like that. you just bite off the end, and it's, like, flavored honey and the, these little sticks. That, that, actually, yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like. They have the cherry, the spice ones. Honey mm. sticks is exactly what this tastes like. So good. But, as we always do here, the lady, try the horn again. Sorry, I only got the one. <laughs> We're working on it. Working on it. I'm coming to see you, Ragnar the Trader. We're gonna meet. I'm gonna get something. <laughs> Hopefully soon. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yep. Oh. Yep.
Always just better when you drink it out of a horn. <laughs> Right? Yes. I would definitely, definitely think I'd like to do maybe a road trip or a special video of going down to uh, Shiduk and kind of taking a tour of there. And maybe we'll have a video of that one day, kind of in the summer when the weather's getting a little nicer. Yeah, well, maybe we can look at doing one of their programs. I'd be down for that, absolutely. I want to dress up as a beekeeper. <laughs> that's, just, that's just something like a great afternoon. All I can think of is the Eddie Izzard bee sketch. The what? <laughs> Eddie Izzard, he has a bee sketch. I don't think I've ever seen that one. The beekeeping sketch. He likes his women like he likes his coffee. Covered in bees. <laughs> oh, God. But no, um, great job to Chinook for creating this absolutely amazing meat. Again, it's definitely dessert style. Mm -hmm. So good. Um, look forward to trying more of their meats in the future. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, no, like, would you guys ever consider check going to a meadery, checking out the programs if they got like a beekeeping program or something like that? something for the whole kind of family if you would let us know in the comments below also leave leave um a link to the link to the website link to the website for chinook if i can word right no more need for you i know i'm, I'm cut off <laughs> but we'll leave we'll leave links to everything below as well as our social media our facebook and our instagram and come come on and say hi and um let's kind of see where we're going for for next week for our meters but until then we'll see you cheers bye